For ARK Invest, I'd recommend reading the ARK Invest analysis, the most accurate sort of analysis of the potential of autonomy. The most accurate that, I, that I'm aware of is, is Kathy Wood's ARK Invest. So $2,600 a share. Yes. Help, help us do the math. How do you get there? What has to happen and for all of that? Get there? And if I recall correctly, they predicted somewhere over a $5 trillion valuation for uh, Tesla just based on vehicle autonomy, not counting Optimus. I think just based on vehicle autonomy, we can, we can 10x, more than 10x the value of the company. I believe that's what will happen. In this video, we explore Elon Musk's insights on Tesla's potential, highlighting Kathy Wood's $5 trillion valuation prediction driven by vehicle autonomy and the significant impact of the Optimus robot on Tesla's market cap and revenue. This is a five-year uh, price target, uh, as all of ours are. And uh, what has to happen is uh, an autonomous taxi platform, Tesla's autonomous taxi platform. It's actually a combination of like Airbnb and Uber to some degree. So like there'll be some cars that Tesla owns itself in kind of like an Uber fashion. But then for the fleet that is owned by our customers, it will be like an Airbnb thing. You can add or subtract your car to the fleet whenever you want. So you can say, like, I'm going away for a week. At just one tap on your Tesla app, your car gets added to the fleet, and it just makes money for you while you're gone. So you can say you, you can add it to the fleet for a few hours, for a few days, for a few weeks. Whenever you want it back, you can say, come back, and the car will come right back. Robotaxis, um, uh, which is a SaaS-like model. Instead right. of selling a car and maybe the software package, and that's it, uh, this becomes a recurring revenue model, a slice of every mile driven on that autonomous taxi network. Very high margins. Right, right now, uh, auto gross margins are around 16 percent. Uh, gross margins in the SaaS world are more like 80 percent. I'm highly confident that it will far exceed, like the revenue made by the owner of the car will far exceed the actual monthly payment. And then Tesla will obviously take a rev share on that, but most of the money will go to the, the owner of the car. And this is actually going to work. This is what will happen. Kathy Wood and Elon Musk shared their vision for Tesla's future, focusing on an autonomous taxi platform. Kathy Wood explains how this model could turn Tesla into a source of recurring revenue with high profit margins, similar to a software as a service business. Elon Musk expands on the idea, comparing it to a mix of Airbnb and Uber, where Tesla owners can easily add their cars to a fleet to earn money when they're not using them. Look at the number of miles between accidents for the average car in the United States. It's about 200,000 miles. Uh, you look at a Tesla without FSD, full self-driving, uh, just uh, autopilot, right. it's more like 600,000 miles. With full self-driving and, and an older version, not even the right. latest, six, nine months ago, 3.2 million miles. Tasha Keeney has done this work. 12.4 is actually like a whole different version than 12.3, and 12.5 is a whole different version than 12.4. You'll see really giant improvements, I think sometimes factor of 10 improvements uh, it, between uh, successive versions. Auto accident rate has gone, after decades of going down with auto safety measures, right. sharply, we talked sharp to increase, about right, this uh, 40, 40 to 50 percent. Texting is a big part of it you know, disproportionately young people. Right. So we, deaths in the U.S. have gone from the low 30s, uh, I think they got into above 40,000. Uh, so I think the, if uh, regulators understand, and they do, that 85% of all traffic accidents are caused by human error, if you take the human out, you're going to make the roads Kathy, safer. Kathy, we literally asked Pete Buttigieg, the department, uh, the secretary, yes. uh, the secretary of transportation Pete. yesterday, Pete no. Buttigieg, about this, and he did sound like he was open to the idea as a result. Yes. Um, and that's the first time I've really heard a public official who's kind of embraced it instead of saying, wait, 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 we don't like the rise of the machine. Absolutely. He is telegraphing that the roads ultimately are going to be much safer if you take the human being out of the equation. Kathy Wood highlights that Tesla cars are significantly safer, with far fewer accidents compared to average cars, especially with full self-driving technology. Elon Musk discusses major updates to FSD, promising even greater safety improvements, while officials are increasingly open to autonomous vehicles making roads safer by reducing human error.
the middle of 2024. Yeah. You're saying we get to 2029. Yes. And that that's where that price is. I think what I'm asking is, when does this all have to really go into effect? Yes, we uh, believe that they're setting up for, for robo-taxis, the network, within, uh, I would say, a year and a half, two years. It'll be pretty wild that the, the software update and then the whole, the whole fleet suddenly becomes accessible. It's like suddenly you've got uh, 7 million, 10 million cars that can do autonomous driving, um, and instead of being used 10 hours a week, it can be used 50 or 60 hours a week. Kathy Wood predicts that Tesla's robo-taxi network could be operational within two years significantly boosting their market potential. Elon Musk envisions a software update that will instantly enable millions of Teslas to drive autonomously, vastly increasing their usage and efficiency. It actually gets way crazier when you think about the, our, the Optimus robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to you know, be able to do anything you want it to do, to be you know, your companion, it, it can be at your house, it can sort of babysit your kids, it could teach them, uh, be a teacher, it can do factory stuff. I, I think that the ultimate ratio of, say, how many super useful humanoid helper droids do you want? Like, who doesn't want a C-3PO? Yeah. But a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus plus. It would be pretty awesome. I think everyone in the world is going to want one. Like, literally everyone. And, and then there will be, obviously, robots in industry making stuff. And I think the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will, will probably be at least two to one, something like that. One to one for sure, so, which means like somewhere on the order of 10 billion uh, humanoid robots, maybe 20 or 30. So then it's like, okay, well, let's say build rate is, I, I think the build rate will be probably something ultimately like billion a year, humanoid robots. Like actually, I mean, for reference, the auto industry is roughly 100 million vehicles per year. And if Tesla just has a 10% share of that, and it might be a lot more than 10%, and there's, you know, who make like 100 million Optimus units a year, I think we could make one for a cost of maybe at really high scale of about $10,000. It'd be less expensive than a car. And, and I'm confident of the pr prediction that there will be more, like the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will be greater than one to one. So that there'll be, you know, more than 10 billion humanoid robots in the world, probably 20 or more. And Tesla is going to be by far the leader in that. Elon Musk forecasts a future where Tesla's Optimus humanoid robots become everyday companions, capable of performing various tasks from babysitting to factory work. He predicts that eventually there will be more humanoid robots than humans, with Tesla leading the sector. You're seeing a lot of robot startups, but I think it's actually very challenging to, to do Optimus as a robot startup because what we found to make Optimus work, we've had to design from first principles, from scratch, every part of the robot. So the motor, the gearbox, the sensors, power electronics, the communication system, everything had to be done from scratch. We, we found that there's basically nothing, there's no supply chain. Even though there are many electric motors made in the world, there's no supply chain for the types of motors and sensors and gearboxes that are needed for a humanoid robot. And you, I mean, what you're seeing here is our current generation uh, hand and arm, but our next generation, which has 11 degrees of freedom, our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. It will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. Now, of course, like I said, we need to make sure we don't have the Terminator scenario. That's very important. You know, sa safety of the humanoid robot will be very important. But because it requires so much ground-up design, designing every motor, gearbox, sensor, power electronics from scratch, it's, it's very hard for a startup to, if not impossible, for a startup to replicate that. But at Tesla, we have the world's best electrical engineering. I think we've got the world's best mechanical engineering for, for gearboxes and, and for uh, you know, electric motors, power electronics. You know, we have the resources to do that. It, it, it applies quite well. Uh, and then you also have to have the, the brain. You need, the, the, you, need the, 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 you need a power efficient inference computer, which we've got for the car and we'll be using an Optimus. You need to be the best in real world AI, and Tesla's the best in real world AI. You need a very strong hand of cards in order to make a compelling uh, robot. And then you also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like ten or twenty thousand dollars, you actually need to design for manufacturing and be very good at manufacturing. What, in my experience, prototypes are, are easy compared to volume manufacturing. Prototypes are easy, production is hard, um, relatively speaking. So Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, and it has the AI hardware and software capability. Even the most optimistic estimates that I've seen for, for Optimus, <laughs> the Optimus optimist, I think 
undercount the magnitude of, of what this robot will be able to do. You know, as, as I said at the beginning of the, of the presentation, I, you know, I agree with the ARK Invest analysis that autonomous transport is called sort of a five to seven trillion dollar market cap situation. Optimus, I think, is, is a, a 25, a, literally 25 trillion dollar market cap situation. I don't want to trivialize what's necessary to get there. I mean, it's an, an immense amount of work that is required to get there, like super difficult. But uh, we are moving very fast down that road. And we're going to make it happen. Elon Musk explains the immense challenge of developing Optimus humanoid robots from scratch stressing the need to meticulously design every part like motors, gearboxes, and sensors. He highlights Tesla's unique advantage in engineering, AI, and manufacturing capabilities to achieve this ambitious vision, foreseeing Optimus as potentially unlocking a $25 trillion market opportunity. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.